G'day budgies and witches and welcome back to the channel. Now look, I know that the Five Foot Aquarium looks very totally completely different to the uh, to the last time you saw it and uh, I know I also said that I wouldn't be changing it again from it being a planted aquarium but look, here we are. I don't really have an explanation but I promise to fill you in about it in the near future. Today's video is going to be at the end of the bath. But today's video is going to be about the Underwater Pet Expo and specifically I want to just talk about what my thoughts were, some of the really great things that happened at the event and what you can expect in terms of Underwater Pet Expo related content coming soon on the channel. This video will be a lot of just me talking in front of the camera, however with the new scenery change and the really cool Australian lungfish swimming around in the background, I hope that's going to be okay with you guys and uh, I sort of just wanted to take this situation to touch base with... Ha! <sighs> I sort of wanted to take this video just to go ahead and touch base with you bodgies and wedgies and just have a bit of a uh, casual chat. <laughs> Anyways, before we get into this video, as always, let's acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land and the people that are managing our land as well. Now, as an aquarium convention, the Underwater Pet Expo aimed to bring some of Australia's best wholesalers, distributors, retail stores, aquarium-related companies all under one roof. And that way, us as aquarium hobbies can nerd out, talk to other hobbyists about our passions, learn from all the new companies about what awesome products are coming into the Australian aquarium hobby, and also hopefully bring in a few new beginners into the industry as well. And I think the Underwater Pet Expo absolutely nailed that. It happened on the 15th and 16th of October at the Melbourne Showgrounds, and it was at the same venue that the original Underwater Pet Expo was at. However, this time around, I think the planning and execution around it was absolutely spot on. There was a perfect balance of wholesalers and also retail aquarium stores there, and there was a really great range of products that were for sale there as well. I do know that one of the criticisms last time around was that there wasn't enough stuff for sale, but this time there was a really great abundance of freshwater fish, saltwater corals, products at a much lower price than you normally would find at retail, and some really awesome pre-built aquascapes and aquariums ready to go for you to go ahead and take home. I also have the awesome privilege of being a little bit more involved with the Underwater Pet Expo this time around. And I've got to say a huge, huge thank you to all of you bodgies and widgies for that very reason. When the original Underwater Pet Expo happened, I went in with 100 subscribers, 100 of you bodgies and widgies watching. However, this time around, we went into the Underwater Pet Expo 1,300 and something strong. And um, I have just, I, I can't thank you enough because because of your support, I've been able to see what goes into planning an event like this. I've been able to make the relationships and the connections that allow me access like this to go ahead and uh, to go ahead and make my little part in the aquarium industry. And on that topic of making my little part, I actually did have the amazing privilege of designing the official Underwater Pet Expo 2022 shirts. It was a very limited release and uh, I was very nervous when I was designing the shirts because I really wasn't sure what the audience reception would be for the shirts. Hence why I actually didn't publicize it too much or promote it too much. However, you guys absolutely smashed the sales out of the ballpark. I believe all the shirts were sold out on the very first day. And there was a lot of people asking before the Underwater Pet Expo even went live if they could go ahead and purchase a shirt for themselves. However, if you did miss out on a shirt purchase and you still want to go ahead and get one of your very own Underwater Pet Expo 2022 shirts, because I'll admit, the actual fabric this time around is way, way better. It's a much more quality built shirt. And also the print uh, as well is very high quality. The uh, actual design itself, if I do say so myself, is pretty stylish and you can wear it, you know, just casually to an aquarium store whilst you're doing your aquarium maintenance or whenever you want to just go ahead and represent some aquarium designs. Um, but if you are looking to go ahead and get a shirt for yourself, we actually have done another reprint. Again, it's a very limited reprint and uh, the shirts will be for sale and they can be delivered directly to your doorstep. All you need to go is, or all you need to do is just check out the link in the description down below. That will take you to an online store where you can go ahead and get an exclusive shirt for yourself. Again, it's a very limited release so make sure you go ahead and check it out and uh, feel free to support the Underwater Pet Expo that way because none of the sales of the shirts go to me. They all go directly into the Underwater Pet Expo 2023 funds. So that way we can make the event even better and even bigger than this time around. I also did my first ever public aquarium talk at the Underwater Pet Expo and 
that was a very, very overwhelming experience. However, you bodies and wedgies really went ahead and just made me settle in and done, um, like on the Saturday, I went into the talk very, very nervous because I've never done a public talk on that magnitude with, there was like 40 or 50 people watching at any given moment. And um, just the sheer amount of support that you gave me whilst I was talking, just actively listening to me, asking me questions at the end and giving me that, that crazy thunderous round of applause when I finished. It just, it lifted so much weight off my shoulders and um, and uh, I actually went and did the longest talk at the event. It was about 40 or 50 minutes and none of these left during that time, which just makes me feel so, so good. The fact that you sat there, took that time out of your day to go ahead and watch me for that long, do a public talk was just an absolutely phenomenal experience. And uh, I gotta say just a huge, huge thank you for the ongoing support that you're always giving me. I just, I can't express it enough. Now let's get into the juicy part of this video and that is what my honest thoughts and opinions were about the event. I actually filmed a version of this video the very day after the event finished. However, I didn't release that one because my voice sounded terrible and two, I wanted to see what the audience reception was for the event to see if any of their feedback changed my opinions. And um, it was great because 99% of the audience that went to the event agreed with exactly what I'm about to say. I think the event was perfect. I also think that I don't have any feedback to make the event itself better. The reason for that is because it allowed a really great place for all of us aquarium addicts to go ahead and collaborate and talk to each other under one roof. I'm sure that there's been situations where you've met people online, become really great friends with them because of your aquariums, and you're finally able to meet these amazing people in person and absolutely nerd out with them and have a really great time. That happened with me. And there were also aquarium brands that support this channel that I've never met in person before, but I was able to meet them at the Underwater Pet Expo. And it just, it makes this industry feel a lot more warm and cozy and, uh, you know, sort of one big industry than than little divides that we often encounter with this, with this hobby. So in regards to that, it was perfect. It also brought so many beginners into the event. I spoke to a lot of them firsthand, personally, myself, throughout the two days. And to give you an example, there was a couple there that purchased their very first high-tech planted aquarium. It was their very first aquarium full stop. And I spent a lot of time with them, talking to them and teaching them about some of the things they would need to go ahead and make that aquarium successful long term. The products, the fish they could have, the maintenance they would need. And that way it just makes our industry that little bit bigger. If I brought two people into the hobby and you brought two people into the hobby, that's already four people strong. And in a few years from now, they'll do the exact same thing. And that's the thing that makes me feel really, really great to, to see that we can have that little bit of involvement that'll just make this hobby last for generations on end. I'm getting very deep here, but the reason for that is because you know, I did see some feedback that the Underwater Pet Expo was slightly underwhelming. There wasn't enough stuff for sale there, but it's not what the event aimed to do. And um, yeah, you know, I'm not going at anyone specifically here. I just think, you know, being, having had that involvement, seeing how much effort that people are putting into making an event like this, the fact that we even got it alone after the two years that we've had its absence was perfect. And um, yeah, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> In regards to videos, I'll have my talk coming out. There'll be a few interviews or, or sort of booth tours that I took at the event. And um, you know, if you didn't see the event or you just want to reflect about it, make sure you uh, stay tuned because those videos will be coming out very shortly. Also, yes, I did get a bunch of new fish. A few of them are in the tank, a few of them are dispersed around the fish room, but I'll talk about those in another video because I really want to give them their very own time to show how amazing these really cool new species are that I got. But that's essentially it from me. Bodgies and Widgies, thank you so, so much for your time. Thank you so, so much for your support. And um, you know, I, I cannot express it enough, but I just, I wanna give all of you a big massive hug. Yeah, you guys are legends. As always, stay happy, stay safe. Stay Aussie Australian, bodgy out.